So, you know, it doesn't always end as all as well that ends well, but it was a very good road trip for the Washington Nationals. They do go 7-2, but they lose a game. Uh, I'm, we're not going to say that they should have won, but they beat themselves, which is very rare for them. They lose today to the Los Angeles Dodgers and Clayton Kershaw 2-1, to one, a very good outing by Steven Strasburg, spoiled by um, back-to-back pass balls by Jose Lobatone. Bryce Harper not taking an extra base on a rundown with Trey Turner. And, you know, that's kind of the breaks for them. Corey Seager had the game winning or had the big home run for the Dodgers to tie it up. And then uh, Adrian Gonzalez ends up scoring because of back to back pass balls. That's just. Not good. So, but still, it's a seven and two road trip. They still have an unbelievable 12, 12 game lead in the division. And they now have played, um, as you see the cat in the background there, the they've now played six of the 20 in a row. So 14 straight more to come with that one game series against the Orioles tomorrow at home at 7.05. To uh, to make up the that last game in that four game home and home with them, and then it's the Texas Rangers in over the weekend for three. So, you know, I mean, yes, you never want to lose, but goodness gracious, it wasn't. I mean, it, fundamentally, it wasn't solid baseball. Daniel Murphy really is just not a good fielder. All right, so we get you all in there. Why haven't we started yet? Oh. Let's get into the totals for you. One run on five hits and two errors for the Nats, who are now 37 and 21. Two runs on three hits. Yeah, the Dodgers were three hit today. Two by Strasburg, and uh, and I believe maybe all three were by Strasburg. Uh, Kershaw gets the win. He's a robot anyway. You know that. He goes to eight and two. Strasburg takes the loss. He goes to seven and two. And Kenley Jansen would be Nant was gets picks up his tenth save. Strasburg, by the way, tied Kerry Wood in the thousand for the most strikeouts in the first thousand innings of a career with eleven sixty six. He had the chance to break that break that mark, but I forgot who didn't. It wasn't an out, but it wasn't um it wasn't out, but it wasn't a strikeout. So. So that be that. Um, Harper over four today, struck out twice. Bryce is swinging at stuff he shouldn't be swinging at again. I just think he's a. They're a bit tired. Uh, even though Har Harper did miss two of the games at Oakland from the suspension, but he wasn't hitting right before then. Zimmerman though, again, he had the he had the lone Nats run in the second, a home run. He's hitting three sixty two. And with an OPS now of 1103. Serious MVP consideration. And Daniel Murphy, for as bad of a fielder as he can be, he did go two for four. And Anthony Rendon walked twice. And runners in scoring position today, they went 0 for 6. And they stranded 7. Turner had that triple and couldn't score on that. Look what I found comebacker to Pedro Baez that Bryce Harper should have taken second on. Uh, Zimmerman with the home run is 17th. He now has 49 RBI. Strasburg, six innings. He should have gone longer. But the bat, the pass balls really, are they saying that was one, well, pitch and one pass ball? They did. Wow. That should have been two pass balls. The second one definitely was a pass ball. It ended up with a runner scoring. Really should have been two pass balls. Um, the that inning undid him. He was at 84 pitches to start the inning, and he finished with 104. Did throw 70 strikes, three runs or three hits, two runs, one earned. So the ERA dips to 280. He walked one and struck out eight. Matt Albers four outs, ending in a third and struck out three. That's just you. He really is the hidden gem story of the year. And Romero, two uneventful outs. Kershaw, seven innings, three hits, a run it was earned. He walked three and struck out nine. 
and the people that we follow on the dot from the Dodgers on Twitter were kind of perplexed that Kershaw walk Kershaw walk three. 95 pitches, 60 strikes. That's pretty good. Pedro Baez with the hold and Kelly Jansen with the seventh save. Albers, 18 pitches today for Washington, 13 strikes. And Romero, his usual six pitches and three strikes, but he didn't put anyone on. So I suppose. You go here. I suppose if you want to uh, be critical for for Dusty Baker not pinch hitting for Ryan Rayburn with uh, with Adam Lind in the eighth inning, but because all you have to do is put a ball in play and Turner's going to score, which would have been the tying run. But um, Lind pitch in the ninth inning and struck out facing Jansen, so it was kind of betwixt and between. And Weeders flew out to end the game. You know, it's one of those things, kind of like the game five of the uh, NLDS. You know, the Nats had their chances and couldn't finish it. Uh, runner on third, and, and you can't get them home in the eighth. And, you know, when they when they do lose a game, it's because they kind of beat themselves. And I really think that was the case today of um, the Nat just, you know, the simple things. I mean, Murphy's Murphy made a bad error. Uh, which allowed, which you know, didn't end up hurting. I mean, just a, when they lose, there are fundamental things that go wrong for the Nationals. You know, can't get a bunt down, can't overrun or over, can't catch a basic ball, or not react enough like Lobatone did on. I guess what they gave him the pass ball on the second pitch of that sequence. Uh, you know, not reacting and having Adrian Gonzalez, of all people, not very fast and running and taking an extra base. So just one of those silly things. I mean, it's going to happen every once in a while. But you get some home cooking now, and that's what the Nationals want. A, you know, very good, successful road trip. It's their second one in a row. Their, their first long road trip to Atlanta and Colorado, and I'm missing one in between there. Uh, they went seven. They went nine and one. And this one, they go 7-2, and two, and they are winning on the road, which is what you want them to do. Uh, the two games they lost were the Joe Ross game and to Clayton Kershaw. Gosh, that's not horrible by any stretch. Yes, you'd like them to win every game, and yes, it would have been nice to have swept the Dodgers while they're not completely healthy, but that's not what happens. And still, I mean, this has been – I mean, you, you, you look at this in the standard, you know, on baseball reference it about six months ago. Oh wow, they went seven to two on this trip. Yeah, they went seven to two. It's all good. All right. Elsewhere in baseball so this is the only final. A couple other day games today. None involving National League East teams. Or for Dodger fans that may be looking in on this later, Colorado leads Cleveland 5-1 to one, the bottom of the seventh. The Phillies trying to sweep the Braves at 7.35 tonight. Miami's in Chicago to face the Cubs, and the Mets are in Texas. Remember, Texas comes and spends the weekend back in Washington, kind of like an old-school weekend with the old Senators or the mid-Senators playing the Nationals. So that's uh, – and uh, what's Baltimore – Plays Pittsburgh tonight at 7.05. That's what's going on around baseball. In the minor leagues today, the Syracuse Chiefs already dropped a doubleheader to Pawtucket. Pawtucket won the opener 6-1. to Two-hitter throw there. Greg Ross takes the loss, goes to 2-4 and four with a 6-3-8 ERA. Dustin McGowan takes a loss in game two as Pawtucket nearly no-hit Syracuse, almost with five shutout and no-hit innings. For Pawtucket in relief, uh, the, the Paw Sox win 3 nothing in one of a rookie league DSL game. The DSL Angels beat the Nats 5 to 4. Uh, Edon takes the loss. He goes to 0 and 1 with a 12 ERA. And Porte with a homer for the Nats. Tonight, Harrisburg takes on Altoona. 
a long pitching for Harrisburg tonight. They're 23 and 33 in Hagerstown. See, to be determined on the starter, according to MI, MILB.com, they face Greensboro at 7. So you can catch at least the Harrisburg game on MILB TV if you have it. If you're not interested in some of the other options on television tonight. So, uh, let's see. Today on the site, Ricky Keeler did a piece on the Hagerstown Suns, all their Southern Atlantic League All-Stars. You know, they're doing very well in the Sally League, can clinch a first half playoff spot, and are scoring a lot of runs. And I did a piece on why Coda Glover really should be the closer the rest of the way through the year. He has done very well. And uh, I saw at the highlights this afternoon of his little stare down, fighty thing with the uh, Yasiel Pig. Wig. And yeah, I don't mind if, if uh, Glover has a streak of Jonathan Papelbon in him. That's what you want from a closer. You want someone that's kind of a bit reckless and out there and can throw to get in people's heads. Um, no punches were thrown. There won't be any suspensions. But no, I didn't have a problem with that. All right. Well, that will be a quick show. Uh, so Steven Strasburg, he pitched well. Um, and makes a little more history. I mean, there's no shame being tied with Kerry Wood for most strikeouts in the 1,000 innings, or the first 1,000 innings of your career. So tomorrow, Tanner Roark goes for the Nats uh, to make up that one game against Baltimore, and then it's the weekend with the Texas Rangers. You can give this a like and subscribe on District on Deck, although I will, I think, Tomorrow, because we are doing a live show for the draft review, Ricky Keeler and Benjamin Chase from Call to the Pen and Tomahawk Take. I think because that show is supposed to start at 9 and will take a while, that the post game show will be on my own personal channel, at Ron Juckett, on YouTube. But there will be a post game tomorrow night. We'll have it for you either on one of these things tomorrow after the game. You can. Give us a like on, you know, give us a follow on Twitter. We post everything and we live tweet every game at District On Deck. I'll like, give us a like and subscribe on Facebook. And, of course, the blog itself is District On Deck. And we'd love to have you read all of our stuff. So that's it. It was a successful road trip. wasn't a successful win today, but it was a successful road trip as I start to drool. The final score today, the Washington Nationals drop a 2-1 to one game. They score seven runs against the Dodgers in three games, but they win two. And that's big because you know this offense can rank. And when they don't, they still win ballgames. For Ricky Keeler, I'm Ron Juckett. Have a good night from District on Deck.